of the principles of uh, marketing class in today's class we are going to discuss about product life cycle uh, in this unit we are discussing about uh, the marketing mix where we are uh, learning about a product uh, which is a first uh, marketing mix uh, in today's class we uh, discuss in detail about product life cycle so what is product life cycle like humans how we go through a cycle of like birth growth then uh, old age and we uh, die so something like that similar only the products also go through a life cycle where it has a stage of uh, called introduction stage after that it grows and then it becomes matured and decline so during decline it don't literally die like us uh, that time the uh, marketers he introduced the different uh, features and new aspects of the uh, product so that it uh, increases the uh, stage in the uh, i mean the duration in the declining stage so after declining stage a new product may be introduced so we go to details so here is a graphical representation of the product life cycle here you can see uh, with the uh, introduction see the it shows two aspect one is the growth of the product that uh, that's a profit of the product and sales volume when you see in the introduction stage there is no profit at all the sales gradually uh, grows up and in the growth it was like a rapid growth and also there is a increasing in profit in the stage of maturity the sales also Uh, goes to the maximum and uh, uh, profit initially goes up but after that it start declining in the decline stage the uh, sales uh, declines uh, extensively and also the profit then characteristics of the product life cycle so we see uh, different stages under different characteristics like the how the customers who are the customers how the competition and how the sales volume and profit so all these things we will see uh, in each uh, stage of the product life cycle so now uh, in introduction stage the customers are customers are innovators that's a people who try new new things and uh, the uh, at the uh, customers of the growth stage is a mass market and the maturity stage it's again a mass market and during the stage of declining uh, only the loyal customers uh, continue to buy their product a uh, competition during the introduction stage is very little or no competition at all because it is still uh, it is introduced new i mean uh, Uh, no competitor would have come uh, so either no competitor or little uh, competitors and uh, at the growth stage uh, the competitors increase because they see this product has got more demand so more competitors come into play and then at the maturity stage it becomes uh, intense too many competitors are around at the declining stage the competition decreases because the demand for the particular product may go down so uh, sales during the introduction is low level because it still introduce new and then in the uh, middle of the introduction stage after some time it's gradually start increasing at the growth the growth time of course the sales uh, increasing rapidly and during the maturity stage uh, it will be very slow growth uh, or no growth uh, declining stage it start uh, declining profits during introduction stage there is no profit because uh, sales are very low and then the cost are only uh, more cost because of advertising and other things so profit literally no profit at all during the growth stage there is a, a strong profit Uh, uh then at the, it will be at the peak and then at the maturity uh, the profit also declines because they try to like do more advertisement so the cost uh, will eat away the profit at the during of the maturity time and at the decline time again the sales go down so the profit also goes down 
then we see the marketing implications or uh, strategy overall strategy during introduction is a market development strategy we i mean they go for new new market after that once the market is developed during the guru said they started penetrating the market that is the increasing the market share then at the maturity it's defensive position to protect our product uh, from the competitors and then declining time it's uh, efficiency either you introduce new new one uh, new features of the product or they exit then cost during the time of introduction hyper cost because this is to uh, i mean cost is during because of more marketing aggressive marketing is done so the cost will be very high and also the product will go for research and development so the cost is very high at the time of uh, growth the cost will decline because slowly they reduce the uh, money spent on uh, developing uh, the product and also uh, on the advertisement so the cost decline at the growth stage that the maturity uh, the still stable or sometimes increase because to uh, a little bit at the end of the uh, maturity stage they want to increase the what do you say the advertisements and all those things so either it's increasing or st uh, stable at the declining stage uh, so it will be very low the cost and then the product strategy at the time of introduction it's undifferentiated i mean it's the same product for all the customers that's the meaning of undifferentiated product strategy then at the uh, growth uh, stage it is improved items little bit changes here and there in the features at the time of maturity what happens they have to uh, i mean differentiate the product from the competitors so the strategy used is a, a differentiated strategy at the time of it's a proved line and then uh, we come to the pricing strategy during introduction is mostly uh, likely high pr uh, pricing because the cost incurred on research and development has to be uh, retrieved by the company so the cost is very expensive or very high cost and during the time of growth lower over time because they already uh, they taken the money spent on uh, r and d and other cost so at the time of growth they reduce the cost at the time of uh, maturity it will be lowest because that time the competition are increasing to in order to survive in the market they reduce the cost and then again declining time the pr pricing may be very high because uh, uh, to survive the expenses and all those things because the sales is going down and also the profit then distribution strategy at the time of introduction is scattered here and there okay they are able to uh, i mean uh, uh, few customers only they are able to cover are uh, the few target customers at the time of growth distribution strategy will be extensive they uh, take the product to the many of the customers around different regions or the states or the cities in a country so it will be intensive uh, distribution strategy and then again during the maturity also it will be intensive and during declining stage it will be a very selective distribution strategy because only the loyal customer continue to buy our product so they look which areas or regions where there is more loyal so those areas only it will be distributed then promotion strategy introduction so category awareness so there will be extensive promotion in order to uh, i mean uh, uh, familiarize a product uh, in the market so it will be uh, uh, i mean extensive uh, promotion strategy during the time of introduction and after that uh, pro promotion strategy during the time of growth will be a brand preference already the brand is uh, well established and then at the time of maturity it is a brand loyalty because uh, uh, the uh, brand become very prominent among the target customers and uh, people become loyal to that at the time of declining uh, promotion strategy is reinforcement that is uh, we have our own uh, uh, loyal uh, customers we just reinforce them we create advertisements uh, and promotional uh, things so to make the loyal customer buy our product again and again 
then we see uh, one by one we started with the introduction uh, stage the product one or few products relatively undifferentiated price is used cost plus basis to set a price so the price is uh, based on the cost we in a distribution is a selective and scattered as the firm commences implementation of the distribution we just introducing stage so we just starting so it will be as scattered here and there cannot able to cover the whole uh, region or the country promotion promotion is aimed at building brand awareness because we are just introducing a new brand so people has to know about our brand samples or trial incentives may be directed towards the customers the introductory promotion also is intended to convince potential resellers to carry the product advertising is aimed to be high to build product awareness so it is extensive advertisement is done in order to come up with a, a brand awareness or product awareness and we go to the growth stage which is second stage uh, in terms of product new product features and packaging options improvement uh, of the pro product quality is done price is to penetrate the market already uh, markets are uh, established in the introduction this thing then here we are going to increase the market share by penetrating the market distribution becomes more uh, intensive here and promotion reduce to take advantage of heavy consumer demand so what happens the promotion is less because consumer already aware of the product they started buying our product so we can reduce advertising built brand awareness in the mass market already our market becomes a mass so what happens just to build a, a brand for our product then we go to the uh, product uh, maturity stage here either modifying the product or diversifying the brand because in maturity already i mean more competitions are there so we need to have a differentiated product so we cannot offer a undifferentiated one so either we change the features of the product or we introduce multi brand something like this so this is the maturity is a stage where the product is a, a new product is introduced uh, or a multi brand new brand is introduced or multi brand is introduced price possible price reductions in response to the competition while avoiding a price war so what happens at this time of maturity the competition become uh, very heavy so either they reduce the price usually they reduce the price distribution built more intensive distribution okay to uh, i mean to increase our market share and uh, to fight with the competitors which was very uh, heavy competition at this time then promotion incentives to get competitors Uh, customers to switch because some kind kind of incentives, okay, like uh, coupons or something given, so that what happens we can attract the competitors, customers to our product. Then the last stage is the decline stage. The number of product uh, in the product line may be reduced here. Okay, so. Uh, not many because it's already de declining so if you have like four in the product line so maybe one or two is removed so that the competition is uh, not so intensive and the expenses are reduced so prices may be lower to liquidate the inventory of discontinued product so we are reducing the price so that we don't want to have a once we withdraw the product from the market we don't have a heavy inventory that's a more stock in our warehouses so what happens the prices are reduced to uh, sell the uh, available balance products uh, distribution becomes more selective here we are not going to i mean uh, select all the market only we distribute to the market where we have more loyal customers who buy our products channels that no longer are profitable are phased out where there is no profit those distribution channels are already removed from our uh, distribution promotion expenditures are lower and aimed at reinforcing the brand image for continued products so what happens here we are not advertising we are like uh, only uh, reinforcing kind of advertisements we do 
in order to make our loyal customers to buy our product again and again so that is for the decline stage now we see uh, this uh, i mean the product uh, uh, life cycle with an example lux is a brand of hindustan unilever india limited okay as all of you know it has four modified soaps which are archid uh, touch almond delight energizing fruit and uh, aqua sparkle so let us see its uh, life cycle product life cycle this lux as an example so during introduction stage marketing objectives the lux marketing objectives in the initial stage was to create the product awareness and to attract the customers towards the product marketing strategies the lux marketing mix strategies in the initial stage of the product were based on the first the we see the product they offer only one product in the market they did not come up with the differentiated product that's for the introduction to create awareness for the particular product price in the initial stages of the product they offer the relatively high prices then the competitors because there's not much competitor where here the competitor is a live boy because they want to recover the cost which incurred initially in the marking the making the product so as i told you this money spent on r and d and all those things has to be uh, i mean uh, uh, retrieved so what happens initial price will be very high on another reason was that they have segmented the niche market this is Uh, market is a niche uh, market niche market means we are targeting only a one particular set of a customer in the whole market that may be usually niche markets are very small markets advertising in the initial stages they allocate more advertising budgets to advertise a product so that more and more customers could be attracted towards a product in ads they targeted early adopters who were ready Yes, to buy the product. So people who are like early adopters, who are these kind of early adopted people, are like more adventurous type of people who want to try the product at the initial stage before other try. So the company uh, target these early adopters uh, customers. Then move on the growth stage marketing objectives. In the growth stage, the marketing objectives of the Lux were to expand their market. to the other cities of india initially they started only with uh, metropolitan cities like mumbai delhi kolkata and all after that they move on to other cities another objective was to maximize more market share okay so to increase the market share marketing strategies in the growth stage company had the following marketing mix strategies which start with the product in the growth stage the company had offered the same product in the market that's a undifferentiated product only one product then price in this stage the company had changed the price to some extent because of maximizing the market share so change means the initially in the introduction stage it was like a very uh, high prices to retrieve the uh, r and d uh, cost and the cost and developing the product here pr the prices are little bit reduced in order to increase the market share then advertising in the growth stage they had increased their advertising budget as in the initial stages because of attracting the new customers or to retain the existing customers so the budget for uh, advertisement is increased uh, in order to attract new customer and to retain the existing customers then the maturity stage the marketing objective of lux is to maximize more profit while defending the market share and to expand the market to all the cities of india because at the maturity stage the competition competition becomes so uh, intense marketing strategy in this stage lux marketing mix strategies are based on the uh, following that's a product first one the lux has made a modification in the product by introducing as i told you at this time the competitions become intense so people look for something different so what happens initially they go for uh, like a multi brand or something like that uh, or do changes in the product features here it's a, they are introducing 
like a uh, uh, different uh, aspects uh, in the uh, product like uh, orchid touch lux energizing fruit almond delight and aqua sparkle sparkle so these are the four uh, i mean uh, changes they made in the products and they introduced the four products then price the lux products are now available at higher prices in the market the reason behind is that the companies marketing objective is to maximize uh, and more profit so what happens since they introduced uh, new new uh, i mean uh, uh, features in the product with the four uh, new products in the lux so what happens the cost is very high so the price is was very high also then advertising in this stage lux advertising has been reduced to some extent because of the more brand awareness in the minds of the customer so already uh they spend more money during the introduction and growth stage so the brand is already established so people are already aware of this brand and more loyal customers started coming so during the time of maturity the cost spent on advertisement is uh, gradually reduced uh, recently they showed the ad in which the india leading television and film actors were shown so what happens now they show the tv uh, Uh, actors and all those things so because the product is already matured so uh, that's all for the uh, product life cycle i hope you understand the topic uh, i will see you in the next video with the marketing mix next mix which is a price mix thank you